Bippin, thank you so much for joining me today. It's a pleasure. Thanks. Nice meeting you, Tim. Nice meeting you finally yeah. in person. <laughs> and how lovely to be here in Indonesia, in Bali. Yes. Everyone's telling me this is paradise. I think they're right. Oh, it's, it's a wonderful place to be in. Beautiful place. Yeah. So I'd love to hear your thoughts, Bippin, about Southeast Asia, one of the most vibrant business communities on this planet. What are you seeing within the business community here in ASEAN that excites you? Well, as you know, Southeast Asia has been growing. Mm -hmm. Think of the 10 nations, or, uh, think of all the nations in ASEAN. Mm -hmm. You know, they got late independence, mm -hmm. they started growing, young population base. Of course, some of them have got a maturing population, mm -hmm. but otherwise, there's a lot of human capital, uh, human capital moving in here. There's monetary capital moving here. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Populations are growing for, for some countries. Hmm. Activities are growing. And, and uh, think of, uh, you know, you always think of Europe. You can go left and go to France and go to Germany. Hmm. Well, think of Singapore, where I'm, I'm from. You can run to Bali, you can go to Vietnam, you can go to uh, uh, Malaysia, Thailand. Hmm. So the region is growing, and I don't think there's any turning back now. <laughs> it'll, keep, it'll keep growing, but you know, some countries may have political problems. It might just step them back up for a while. Mm. But eventually, all the countries are going to grow. Think of the diversity of cultures, mm. languages. Mm. And then the, the, the population from the Western world and other areas coming in. So it just makes it exciting. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know you have expertise, certainly, <laughs> in the financial sector and financial services mm -hmm. and also on the digital side. What are you seeing there that excites you and what other changes you think are coming? Because Southeast Asia seems to be leading the, the world, perhaps, in this area. Um, any thoughts in the financial sector in particular uh, that you see maybe in the three to five year term that could be a game changer? Or do you have any foresight to share with us about that? Well, when the, the, the uh, area keeps uh, growing and you have technology coming in, let's say fintech, mm. and that becomes a bit of a problem for our area, which is wealth management. Mm -hmm. Because as they say that so many number of people are going to lose their jobs once you have uh, fintech. You have programs that will lead you on mm. and maybe the human interaction will be less. So that's one of the drawbacks of this change that uh, could be coming. How fast it comes, we don't really know. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, uh, you know, in, uh, wealth management uh, per se in that field, it's, it's growing like anything. Not like anything, but it's growing in Singapore. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, funds are coming uh, in. I guess our biggest competitor was Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of monies are coming in from Hong Kong. A lot of people are taking Another look at Singapore, real estate, be it or wealth management, and, and uh, it's very good news for Singapore. Mm. Great. Well, I'm excited to see how it plays out here in the near future. Oh, it's going to go well. It's, yeah. it's, it's just uh, how fast it goes, you know. Good point. So I know you're a proud Kelly graduate, and you have other family members who are also proud Kelly oh, graduates. Oh, I'm very happy to share that with you. Yeah. So, so I, I went to Kelly, uh, well, then it wasn't known... Uh, as Kelly, it is mm -hmm. School of Business, but I went to uh, IU in 1981 January. Okay. And till I graduated in 83 December. Uh, I don't know why it took three years. It should have been three and a half or four. Mm. But, uh, you know, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. Uh, met a lot of people. My first dorm was Wilkie. <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to go to a dormitory where it was all foreigners. Mm. I said, I must interact with the local Americans. And believe me, I think I couldn't have, have had a better uh, bunch of friends there. You know, learning the whole American culture and the mm -hmm. mannerisms and whatnot. Yeah. And I used to tell them, you know my English, I tell them, you know my English is not good, as good as you, so correct me whenever you want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, 84, I graduate, uh, 83 December, 84 June, my brother comes into IU. It was like a ready-made platform. Mm. Uh, my friends were still in school. Mm. Uh, they, you know, some went on to do masters. Some were in the only in the second or third year when I graduated. Mm. And so he did. He took four years and graduated in '88. Okay. Uh, and then a lull for a long time. <laughs> and then came to my son's turn, and that was 2015. 
Okay. And I said, uh, Rishi, that's his name, that it's either are you or you stay home. <laughs> <laughs> An ultimatum. Yes, yes. But he couldn't have been happier when mm. he left IU. Fantastic. You know? and, and it's just something about IU that a lot of people don't look at, you know. Yeah. Look at the entire campus, mm. how wide, big a place it is, how beautiful it is. And then think of the uh, academic programs, mm. look at our rankings and, and the faculty. I don't think you can ask for more. You mm. know? Sure, everybody else is there, you know, sure uh, at number one and number two, but I think we de deserve a lot more credit than, mm. than what the rankings show. Well, I thank you. And I know you've played an active role in the Global Deans Council, and you all are so kind to host us here in Indonesia, in Bali, such a beautiful part of the world. And this is your home, right? So you all are here inviting us into your home, and we are all made... Into Southeast Asia. <laughs> yeah, the, a big home, yeah. right? But we're all made better for your inviting us instead mm -hmm. of you always coming to Bloomington, which is a good thing too, right? Mm -hmm. But I wanted to ask your thoughts about Kelly. What else might we do as a Kelly school to strengthen our brand in Southeast Asia? What do you think, Bipin? You know, we had a lot of discussions uh, today. Yeah. And, and uh, basically it's uh, letting people know the branding, mm -hmm. the IU name. You would be surprised that not many people know where, uh, uh, about Indiana University. How I came across Indiana University was I went to the American Embassy, 1980. Mm -hmm. And then there was no internet and whatnot. Sure. So there was an almanac, 2,500 universities. Somehow or other, you can imagine that I don't know how, how many pages, but five, 600. Mm -hmm. I picked six universities. And by chance, I came across IU. And then I read about it. I said, okay, I'm going to apply. I, I decided on my six. Wow. And then came the movie Breaking Away oh. that, that, that played, uh, uh, well, it just showed me what the campus was like. Sure. Uh, and and uh, I got there. But basically now we have technology on our side. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to remind them, we need to expose a lot of people because every time you think of students, parents shall say, I want East Coast, West Coast. Mm -hmm easy for flights, you know, you take one flight, you're there, whereas mm. here I have to take a domestic flight. Well, there's Chicago, fly to Chicago mm. and go by uh, car or bus or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. So Kelly is doing enough to engage because we have our ASEAN gateway in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. I've attended quite a few events. Peter makes sure, make sure that I attend some of them. And, and uh, the engagement mm. is very fulfilling. and, and uh, I can't find any fault with what Kelly is doing. Mm. We, we are doing enough. And maybe we just have to keep persevering at it. Mm. You know? I think that's great advice. Mm. And so, Bipin, thank you for all you've done and for all you are doing. We appreciate it's it. It's a pleasure. Thank, thank you, you, Tim. Thank you. Thank you.